Welcome to this tutorial. You've set up the basic outline of your ePortfolio in Weebly. Now let's get to work on your welcome page, and while we do that, we'll learn how Weebly works. You can always see what page you're on by looking on your navigation strip. The one that you're on will be a different color. So we happen to be on Lisa's welcome page. Her welcome page doesn't have any content, but we can easily fix that. Make sure you have the Elements tab selected. The basic elements that you'll frequently use are listed first. Other elements are grouped under these categories over here. Grab a paragraph with title element. Drag it down to the content area and then let go. You now have a text window within, to write, within which to write, including a heading. Notice that when you click on the heading or in the body of the paragraph, you get a ribbon with standard word processing tools. Let's type a heading and format it the way we want. Now let's click in the Paragraph section and type a welcome message to those who visit your ePortfolio. You might give them an idea of what they'll find in your ePortfolio, that it's about your work at SLCC and so forth. I'll paste in some text now that I already wrote up in a Word document, but you can type right in here. Format that text how you'd like it. So you can see that my welcome text comes in there. I think I want my welcome to be a bit bigger than that. So they have uh, font buttons here that you can increase the font size. Maybe I'll put a space there. Now grab the paragraph with picture element and drag it over to the workspace just below your work that's already there. Let's title the heading About Me. And we'll make it bigger. And then you can type a paragraph here about yourself. Here you'll introduce yourself to the professors that you're going to have and to others with whom you'll share your ePortfolio. Again, I'm going to paste something in here I've already written, just to make this go faster. I think I want this text, this came out a little bit larger, so we'll shrink that one, and then if we can see it, get it all on the same size. Sometimes you have to play with the formatting when you've pasted in from elsewhere. Let's keep that up there. Okay, that looks good. Now, I'd like to add a photo to the About Me section. Remember, I dragged in a paragraph with picture tool, and that uh, already has a 
a photo built into it and notice how the text wraps around the photo that I'm going to put in there. So if I click on this image once, I can pick a photo from my collection here. And I think I have Lisa here in San Francisco. And it uploads that photo right there and the text wraps around. If I had more text, it would wrap all the way around. Remember, you do not have to put a photo of yourself in the ePortfolio, nor do you have to put your full name and other detailed information. Just put in there what you're comfortable sharing. Pretend it's the first day of class and you're introducing yourself to your classmates. What would you tell them?